Welcome to the Colored Pencil Artist Show. I'm here with artist Jay Harmon. Hi. And my name is Raina Rose Exelbeard, and we're coming to you live from Boca Raton, Florida. Great place to be. Oh, yeah. So, Jay, I got to ask you my favorite question. Uh -huh. Why were you named your name? Where, where does that come from? My, my name, uh, my real name, Jay, that is actually uh, my grandfather's name. Wow. And uh, I was named, actually, my first name and my middle name uh, are from my two grandfathers. And uh, I did the same for my son. I named him after his, uh, his two grandfathers. So it's kind of a traditional, uh, traditional thing. That's amazing. And uh, before the show, we were talking, and uh, I found out that you are a fellow FAU alumni. You bet. Uh-huh. Yep. Go Owls. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that you were in the first graduating class. I was, 1973. I, uh, I graduated from FAU in television broadcasting communications. Wow. And, uh, you know, it, uh, TV has come a long way since, uh, since that time. But, uh, you know, I was uh, really happy. At, at that time, it was something that was rather new in, uh, uh, in colleges to right. get into TV because before that they had had public speaking, radio and things like that, but television was something that was, that was rather new to get a degree in. And so I said, yeah. I'm gonna be on that train, you know, so it. Uh, Good for you. And that's quite a jump to go from broadcasting to art. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about that journey. Well, it was, a, it was an interesting, uh, interesting transition. I uh, first, my first job before I graduated college I was working at uh, Channel 12 in West Palm Beach, and it was WPEC, and I, was, I started out as a studio cameraman because mm -hmm. I, was, I was doing that, and then I uh, really enjoyed doing that. I, I, I loved doing the thing, putting up sets and doing things, and then I, I started designing sets, and then I started getting into uh, painting and everything else. Then the station was sold, uh, it was WEAT originally, and then it mm. was sold to um, Alex Dreyfus, who is uh, the founder of um, Dreyfus School of, uh, of the Arts. Oh, I've mentored some teens there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, so he saw the artwork that I had been doing there and the sets and everything, and he asked me when, the, uh, when it changes uh, if I would uh, come up to the new station and be their new art director. Wow. So uh, I was the, uh, the first art director uh, working at, uh, at Channel 12. And uh, so I did that for a while. And, uh, you know, my next career, I've had, I've, I've had a few careers. And uh, my next career was uh, working at the Palm Beach Post. Wow. I went to the Palm Beach Post. And I'm, as, as you can hear, I've, I've been a uh, Palm Beach County guy most of my life. So uh, I've, uh, you know, kind of had to seek out things that I wanted to uh, that I wanted to do. So I went, I went to the Post and I got a job first as a, um, a commercial artist working doing ads and, uh, and everything and I worked there for, uh, for some time and then I switched over and I became a composing artist uh, where we actually put the, uh, the pages of the, uh, of the newspaper together. Wow. And uh, then when, because I, I knew computers when they went all computerized from the old style of pasting up to doing everything on computers uh, they asked me if I would uh, if I would stay and uh, and work with them uh, with computers and teach the people who weren't as computer literate how to uh, do composing on a computer and that's mm -hmm. when the whole thing changed and the, you know I mean everything has changed so much mm -hmm. over over the years you know and uh, yeah. and uh, from uh, from then, I went on and I, uh, I went back to school, got my teaching certification, and went to school as, a, uh, as an art teacher. Mm. And I worked, uh, I worked as an art teacher in uh, Palm Springs Middle School, and I was, uh, I was an art teacher there for, yeah. uh, for 13 and a half years. Mm. And, uh, you know, so I, uh, I worked there for, uh, for a while. So I've had kind of a varied, uh, varied right. career. But in the meantime, I've been uh, kind of practicing and doing my own artwork on the side. This was a thing that, uh, yeah. I guess it started as a hobby, but then it became something that I was really impassioned about. Right. And so something curious about, 
Have you always sort of seen yourself as, as an artist? Like when did you start identifying yeah. as one and, and what do you define as being an artist? Um, I would say I'm, I've always been doing something with art. I mean, I, as far back as I can remember when I was, uh, you know, even when I was a little kid, I mean, I, I did, I did love coloring books. I did, I drew all the time. Uh, when I was, uh, I guess in like sixth grade, seventh grade, I created my own cartoon strip. I had my own comic strip wow. and I, I would work on that all the time. And then uh, after that, then I started getting in, into more different drawings yeah. and, uh, and uh, practicing more and, and doing more things until I uh, started to uh, see that I, what I really wanted to mm -hmm. do more was to do bigger and more detailed work. I love detail. So uh, I found that it was fun. It was challenging. It was fun. It was something I didn't really major in art, but I studied it on my own. I, uh, I learned all about the, uh, the history of art and uh, famous artists right. and art styles. But I, I, did, I didn't need a degree in art to do that because I wanted to learn it and right. I, I just did it on my own. I think this is such an important point that you make because sometimes we feel, you know, especially me at 28 and with college, mm -hmm. sometimes we feel, you know, we have to pay all of this money or have one experience to get an education. And mm -hmm. I think really your story is a true testament that there's no better teacher than life experience. And it is. seeing how there was no you know, mm -hmm. linear path from right. job to job, but right. clearly each experience led you. It did. To it the was next kind door. of it was kind of a stepping stone to to the next thing that I that I wanted to do. But everything was something that I wanted to do. It was not one of these things where people are they settle for a job for themselves and work in that job for thirty, forty years mm -hmm. and hate every day of it. Talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, and then they finally retire, and they can't wait to get away from it. You know, whereas every job that that I've had was uh, it was enjoyable. Right. I I liked what I was doing, and and in the meantime, I was doing my artwork until uh, just before. Well, when I I was doing uh, graphite pencil big pictures. Uh, that's what I got into. Yeah. Uh, so tell the listeners the story behind. Why the pencil? Uh, I have always uh, loved doing pencil work. Okay, pencil to me, because everybody is, I've known so many artists over the years and, you know, working with paint and oils and everything. And I don't know, I don't have that much ambition. I, I like to do something that I can just, <laughs> I can just draw it. Doesn't have to clean it up, put it away and get it out the next time. And I'm not, uh, I'm not there worrying about uh, do I, have to, uh, you know, are the oils dried? Are they good? Can I paint over that? Can I do it? I just do, you know, do it like that. So that's why I like pencils. And I started out with graphite pencils. And that's uh, for you out there, that's uh, graphite is black and white pencils. You've always heard that uh, pencils are made with lead. Wrong. Pencils do not have any lead in them. Okay, that's, uh, that's a total misconception. If you've ever been stuck with a pencil, uh, you're not getting lead poisoning. Okay. So um, anyway, I, I, used, uh, I started working in, uh, uh, in regular pencils and I got whole pencil sets. I learned about uh, drawing uh, on how to, how to use different pencils like uh, the standard pencil, the HB pencil, the, right. uh, and then all the darker pencils, the B pencils and the H pencils or the hard pencils. And, mm. The harder the pencil, the lighter the the lighter the line. So, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. um, you know, as an as an artist, what you put out into the world is sort of you know open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. um, as an artist, over the years, how have you sort of developed that confidence to to listen to feedback? But if it's not something that you agree with, how uh -huh. do you how have you been able to not take that personally? Ah, uh, well. I just, uh, a lot of times when uh, people give me their opinions, which is what they are, uh, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I don't take them to heart. I, I do take them as constructive criticism and, uh, you know, maybe I'll alter something here or there from the way I have been uh, working on a picture if I, if I uh, merit where it came from and, right. uh, you know, and, and that. And, That's uh, the key point. If I mm -hmm. merit where 
it came from, right? Because mm -hmm. so many times in our lives, people try to give us advice yeah. on things. Like yeah. for me, I'm starting my own business. Yeah. and. I love when people try to give me feedback and in my head I'm like, you have never started a business. Like right. I will I will hear you. Right. But like I'm not actually gonna accept <laughs> right. what you're saying. I know. That, <laughs> that's it. You know, you have to I'm I never like to say that I'm better than anybody, but uh, you know, sometimes when you're talking to people you have to consider the source and their knowledge mm -hmm. reference, their point of knowledge, where they're coming from. Yeah. So if they don't have a lot of knowledge but they are just expounding things that uh, uh, they think about, I'll say, well, you know, I'll, I'll take that under advisement and, uh, you know, totally. and then go from there. The way I like to describe it to people is, uh, have you ever gotten a gift that you don't like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and called, to me, that's called a re-gift. Right, yeah. yeah, but what can you not do when somebody gives you a gift you don't like? Uh, you can say thank you, you know, I, I really appreciate it. Right, you and, know, you, and you, a, can't, you can't give it back to them. Like, you right. can't say like, hey, this, this gift sucks. Yeah. And that's kind of like with feedback, it's, it's a gift. You're yeah. not always going to yeah. like it, I but mean, you just I'm, take it and move on. And, then, and that's it, and they think, well, maybe they made a point, you know, and, uh, right. and that's good. That, you know, that, that's good, but I, uh, I still go in the direction that I want to follow yeah. because uh, I'm looking at, uh, at pictures. I use... I, I use my friends and my wife as a uh, kind of a uh, sounding board, Yeah. you know, and I, I say, what do you think of this? What do, what do you think of that? And, and sometimes my wife will, will come up and say, oh, why don't you do something like this landscape, this nice, I said, because I'm not in the mood for that right <laughs> yeah. now. I, you know, and, and I, I could tell her directly, you know, but it's other people true. will say, you know. I, and I think a big part of, of being an artist is, is recognizing that, you know, you have to be in that mood sort of, you know, yeah. to channel whatever it is. and. Something else I'm, I'm really wondering from, you know, all your different experiences, mm -hmm. um, what's like one of the hardest or most important lessons that you've learned in your career? Uh, I, would, I would say never, um, never really get too hung up on making everybody happy. You know, it, it, you make yourself happy. I, uh, I like to, when I'm working on a picture, I like to do something that I do intrinsically and it comes out through me and it goes, it goes onto the paper and I'm not doing it, I mean I can have uh, other people saying what they, kind of, uh, what they kind of like, if they like it or whatever, but I like uh, to do it because I'm going to do it. I mean it's, it's, it's my choice. Right. And, you know, forge forward on your own terms mm -hmm. if you're going to if you're going to do something like that, like art. Right. You know, why do some artists like uh, abstract art? Why do other artists like mm. uh, uh, like just doing uh, landscapes? Why do other artists, you know, like myself, I do realism? Right. And uh, you know, why do some artists choose one medium, other artists choose another? It's because it's their commitment to whatever right. that uh, that is. Right. And for those listening, Jay's art is fantastic. Um, as you heard from Jay, he does all of his art uh, totally in pencil. I personally fell in love with his uh, Lucille Ball, uh, Lucille <laughs> Ball uh, piece here at the uh, the Brooklyn uh, yeah. Breakfast Studio. Um, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. what's been your proudest moment as an artist? Oh golly, I, I think uh, to be really proud is when I have, uh, I mean, I don't even think, you know, I mean, I've won, I've won awards, I've gone, you know, I've been around the, uh, around the country, I've, I've won awards, but that hasn't been as pleasing to me as when, uh, I think when I was teaching and you teaching a kid who doesn't know anything about art and they finally get it wow. when they're doing something and they say oh my goodness that you're right that is so neat thank you you know and they, they said that to me that that's wow. my proudest moment you know I'd yeah. rather have that than you know all the prizes or you know awards because they it's, yeah it's so true I, I um, pull this out here I work as a, uh, a mentor for high school students, and I totally agree. There's there's uh -huh. no better uh, satisfaction that you get from working with young uh -huh. people, um, which leads me to my next question. Uh -huh. What would you say is like one of uh, the things that you you picked up from working with the middle school students when you were teaching for 14 years? Uh, 
other than a paddle right now. <laughs> I, uh, uh, no, that we don't. We're just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, what uh, what I have learned is that you can't go in assuming that all the kids have the same background mm. and knowledge, and you can't go by a certain uh, kid. It, it, I mean. And you can't even go with artwork uh, with uh, kids with a certain intelligence level. I mean, if right. they are very, very smart, they may not have any artistic talent whatsoever. Right. But I have found kids who are like, you know, they are just failing almost everything else. They come in and they just do art like you wouldn't believe. And it's just, uh, it's just incredible, you know, so it's... Uh, it's something they, you know, everybody has, everybody has a talent of yeah. some sort. Everybody has a gift. And, uh, you know, that's what I try to do. What I always try to do is, was bring that out uh, with, the, with the kids, you know, just to, uh, just to bring out their artistic abilities and to see what, uh, you know, what, what they wanted to do. I mean, I could tell pretty, pretty soon if uh, they're interested at all or if they're not right. if they're not interested fine you right. know but if they are then then we can take it from there and uh, that's what I like to uh, right. what I really like to do and you know working uh, middle school I must say it was a challenging uh, especially for the teens <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, you know quite uh, quite the years right in there when you get uh, you know when you get those kids because that's a that's a tough time of life when everybody is mm -hmm. uh, you know just trying to find themselves and and it's like, what, what do they do? I mean, they're always something, something new and uh, you never know what's gonna happen from one day to the next. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting how you sort of identify that, you know, art is something that you nurture. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many people who say like, I'm not an artist, I'm not yeah. an artist. And I'll never forget a couple of years ago, my friend in college, um, he wanted to go into video game making and he was never an artist. Mm -hmm but he took a drawing class. He failed it twice, but by the third time <laughs> he took it, he was drawing people uh -huh. so realistically. Really? And that was the first time in my life where I was like, oh yeah. my God, like yeah. you can actually get better at art. It's just you not can. something that you're um, good or you're bad. Well, actually uh, what, I, what I've told a lot of my classes, I cannot make you become an artist. It's true. I can teach you the techniques. I can teach you the mechanics. But as far as making you an artist, I can't do it because mostly you have to be born with, uh, you know, with a certain gift. You, yeah. you really do. Not everybody is, but that's, the, that's the, the thing about it. You know, some people have other, you know, have, have many uh, different gifts. But I'm, I think, you know, from talking uh, as an artist, from an artist standpoint, that, uh, you know, I, I can't teach them to be an artist, but... Some people, like you said, went from not being able to draw to being great. He had the gift. Right. He just had. He didn't to, have the confidence. He didn't, and that was what you know what you really have to get. And and as an artist, you really have to be confident with what you're doing. You can't you know just say, oh, I don't know if I like this. I don't know you know. If you don't like it, then put it away and work on something else. That that that's always my thing. I'm yeah. Yeah, you know I put pictures away for for quite a while when I'm working on them because I don't I don't know where it's going. Yeah. And uh, then I'll come back to it and I'll, I've had a couple that I've just had a dream and I, I, well, I that's it. That's yeah. uh, that's how I'm going to that's how I'm going to do it. Like uh, this picture right here, I just wanted to show. If you see the slide in back of us, we've been working. Uh, with this picture on my show for the last uh, for the last few weeks, and it's up to uh, it's up to there right now uh, what we're uh, what we're doing. I've taken the uh, slide that you see behind us, and that was kind of our um, you know our focal point to see from that. But I've been working on on this picture, and uh, the folks at home, some people have been actually drawing along with me. I've been kind of instructing as we as we do it and I have like one more week to uh, uh, to work on it to finish it and uh, then we'll be done with that that's and, uh, so cool so you're teaching online and uh -huh. people at home uh -huh. are producing their own right they, they can do that and we're going to you know we're going to be uh, having classes if anybody is uh, interested we're going to be uh, having online uh, classes and uh, you know, uh, some pay-per-view uh, classes for uh, for people to get involved that will actually be on uh, in real time working uh, different levels. We're going to yeah. have 
uh, one for kids and we want to have uh, one for adults and then I'm going to have a, uh, I guess, kind of a advanced level if someone is already an artist and they need techniques. If they want, right. uh, they want things like that. I'm going to be helping yeah. them with that. So. Uh. And, and for those listening, I want to emphasize from you know Jay's and I, Jay and my conversation. You don't have to be an expert artist. You just have to be willing to to start and and pick yeah. up that uh, that colored pencil. So I have to know. Mm -hmm. Of all the pieces that you've done, um, which piece took you to the longest? Why did it take so long? Uh, well, I have a couple. I have uh, one, the folks at home can't see it, but you can see it. The, there's a picture of an ancient lady's face up there. It's done in, in graphite pencil. Wow. And I did uh, that picture, and it's called The Eyes of Age, because I wanted to signify something where uh, to show just what somebody who's really lived a long mm. and good life, what, you know, what, uh, how their face can really show that. Right. And, and it's, uh, it took me, that picture, uh, I think, took me uh, close to four months. And it's huge. How big is it that? It is. It's uh, 30 by 40. And wow. it's all done in pencil. So, uh, you know, that's all I work in, in pencil. So, uh, is there a specific pencil that you prefer uh, well, to use? That one was done in graphite, but what I use is uh, now in my color work, uh, I, I use uh, Prismacolor color pencils, and those have the best texture. They're uh, you know they're a wax based, and they are um, you know they're really really good. I uh, I recommend them, and um, you know it, uh, it's what I'm really doing now is all uh, color pencil. Wow. And uh, keeping with uh, keeping uh, with that, but I work in many different techniques. I commission work to do pet portraits. I do uh, I do abstract portraits. I do That's people cool. portraits. I uh, you know any anything if anybody has an idea, I'll, uh, you know I can commission anything. Uh, if you'd like to have any any specific kind of uh, uh, picture done for your decor. And uh, you know I can uh, I can have that arranged. I can do that. Yeah. So. so you know we're all quarantining, and if you're stuck at home with your entire family, this seems like a great mm -hmm. opportunity to uh, commission a piece from Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay, for those listening, uh, how can the listeners get in touch with you? Okay. Where can we find you? Uh, my website is at uh, is coloredpencilartist.com. And uh, you can find me. Uh, you can find me there. You can see my artwork there, and you can uh, contact me through the uh, through the website. And uh, you can get in touch with me. And uh, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. And uh, if you'd like to purchase any of my artwork, it's all available there. And uh, or come down to the studio. Come right here to uh, uh, to the studio, and uh, a lot of my artwork is here. You can see it. That's amazing. Jay, this conversation has been so inspirational. I, uh, I once heard the hardest part of being an artist is knowing to when to put the pencil down. Mm -hmm. But considering you are an expert uh, with the pencil, I don't see that that's a challenge that uh, mm. you'll ever face. And uh, Well, when my name goes on it, that's, the, that's, that's done. That's true. <laughs> All great artists sign their work. And with that, uh -huh. thank you so much uh, for listening. And we're wishing all the listeners all over the world a happy Thursday. Jay Harmon exclusively in the gallery of Boca. Jay Harmon captures the essence of really creative and captivating mind. Jay Harmon brings the light into the darkness on majority of his pieces using a negative background to highlight the details of some of his looks. I know some artists use white canvases, but he thrives on a black canvas. And here's the kicker. He only uses pencil, colored pencil, 